Hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Oh my god! Hey internet, it's Jessica, and welcome back to Days Gone. So we are still at uh, the camp over here, the militia camp, and we're gonna talk to this fellow over here because Deacon suspects he's probably not militia. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. Hey, Wade. Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a Isn't name. Isn't, like, St. Right, John, like, a French last name? some crazy what the hell? shit. Yeah. <laughs> so what, you joining up? Become an <laughs> army man? You playing soldier and shit? I don't know. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I hit that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. that guy did not help whatsoever. You wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah, come on. Where the hell are you? Okay, I guess we're gonna ask around um, people Somewhere. if they've seen her. Maybe in these tents. Or look. Maybe. Okay, we're gonna take a look around. Let's see what I can find. What is this? Cute lines. Oh god, I'm glad Sarah and I never had kids. Oh. That's probably Corey's kids. Okay, um... Let's go over here in this tent. Check this one. Hello! The infirmary. Um... With her background, that's where she would be. Okay, I guess not in here. Let's check over here. That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit. Nope. Here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, yeah, it couldn't be that easy. No, could it? Of course not, it's gotta be difficult. Say, John, are you on this channel? Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. Um. On my way. Okay, hang on one second. I'm just gonna get some, like, How ammo and stuff. You are new here? I am Lumi Ikeda. Hello. Deacon. Deacon. Oh, Saint is John. she Japanese? You're, uh, you're the bounty collector around here? Yes, of course. We welcome anyone who will work to make the area safe. Good, good. Oh, all right. Goodbye to you. See ya. Okay, this is How's the gun person. Hello. You're around here. Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just got here. Well, damn, yo. Deacon St. John. Your, you your, job, your ammo costs you a lot. Just fine. Jesus okay. Christ. Yes, ma'am. Everything costs See a lot here. here. Holy crap. Here. How about uh, you? I, I haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, Damn. I look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. I mean, yeah, I wish I had more, but I, I guess I'll be okay for now. Let's just go meet Corey at the gate. You made it right out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Open it up! Are you any good? Can you ride? Uh, yeah! Yeah, yeah that's I why I have ride. a bike. <laughs> Uh, okay. What happened to this place? They pro this is probably an area where they thought like burning down. So what the hell happened back there? Would stop I mean, the it looks virus. Like a forest fire, but yeah. the stumps are charred. So that means that means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. 
We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the oh. outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. What? You're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's oh, your plan. Oh, okay, so that makes sense. What I mean to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's gonna stop them is an army. Our army. It's gonna take way more than an army. We have a plan. We can um... let you join. We'll fill you in. Oh, Silver Lake. You asked about survivors. You look for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look. There were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. Shit, my bike. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounties worth that. This is it. All right, cool. Hey, Corporal, the captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right, you two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is uh, Vasquez? How long has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. All right. Where do we start? It's been Let's snowing, see. so uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on. Can we look at his bike or something? Jump. Okay, I'm following oh, you. Okay. Let's go into the cabin. Check this out. Dog toy? Oh, we can't, we could have gave that to Jack and Boozer. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations, ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Always needs scrap. Okay, I just want to grab all this before we go. Excuse me, Corey. Could you get out of the way? Thank you. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently. Yeah, come on. This way. Okay. Hey, hold on for a second. Look, over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah, we're in luck. This way. Wait, 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 hold up. Find something? More tracks. Yeah. Bullets. Shell casing. Or shell casing, sorry. Yeah, uh, they stopped to shoot at something. Come on, down here. Is that a wolf? Oh, that's a wolf. Hold up, hold up. Is it infected? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Um, come on, I want to take a look at that deer carcass. Okay, I'm sorry, Mr. Wolf, but you gotta here. get out of here. What Excuse me. Did that ever work for you? Yelling at a wolf? <laughs> look out! More wolves! Oh, shit! I see him. Not a lot of ammo left. Head of me now! Oh, damn it. Damn! Mm. Okay. <laughs> That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. 
Let me just uh, get all this. I need some credits to buy some ammo. I realized that I used it all when I was fighting that bear, so. Okay. I want to take a look at this thing. It looks like I got a big bite out of it, too. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here. Ones that aren't infected, I mean. Yeah, we get reports almost every day. Hmm. When I was a kid growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They've been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, and timber companies. Yeah, it looks like they're making a big comeback. So not all the animals, I, I should say the wolves are infected, because I've never seen a non-infected wolf in this hold game up, hold yet. Up, hold up. What is it? It's a backpack. It's giving me ammo. Looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. And then uh, to buy time, he landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. I mean, I always forget that Deacon was in the military before all of this. So he knows his shit. He knows what he's talking about. Wait, get down. A swarm. Oh shit! This one is marked on our map. They're scattered all over the region. Holy yeah, fuck, that's a lot. Why, uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. Okay, Corey, are you gonna move or it's what? Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, they're getting tired of running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. Just yeah. Keep moving. Look, you're gonna join the militia? You must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being out of shit, killing freaks, he kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Are they moving? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the corpse from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them, just in this part of the state alone. You know, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Hmm. Well, then he's either dead. Lori's well, got a lot of friends. You see how those tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. Uh, okay. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain. Oh, uh, so it's like the opposite. And like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in. If he lets you join? Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight outfit. I just don't want you to get your hopes up. Hey, don't worry about him. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Well, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. If Vasquez is there, what would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. Was that yeah. We're going AWOL. Hanging by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. Oh, of course he's gonna fight us. No wonder he gave me ammo earlier, because I knew I was gonna have to fight these assholes. I'm just wondering how many are there. Sounds like a lot. You see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. You seem to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh, this one's a fighter, boys! What do you think? Oh no, Deacon's gonna run after her. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm yep. giving you an order. I know it is his code. You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. 
Yeah, sorry dude, we're not part of your little uh, group yet, but I'll take care of these assholes. First of all, let me uh, craft some Molotovs. I'll throw a pipe bomb too. Um, how should I start this? Damn, I really wish I brought my crossbow. Okay. I want to do this like quietly, but it's kind of hard. So, hmm. Ah, fuck it. This guy's dead first. Ah. Oh. Man coming. Oh, man cover. Got him. Sorry, lady, but, uh, you have to go. Ah, uh, there's some more people. Okay, hang on, hang on. Sniper. There we go. There we go. There we go. Shit, I miss. There we go. Okay, I got that one. To my side. Move. Oh shit! Ah. Jesus! That's the only way you can get in there. Yeah, here we it. go. Right here. Ooh! Damn, girl! Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Easy, easy. I'm not gonna. I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. <laughs> okay. She stabbed him in the dick. Gonna move over here. Well, you know, I I can't say he you know didn't deserve it. Korea. Damn, he brought like the whole cavalry too. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? <laughs> pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> Yeah. You pass. Okay, Deacon's gun was like freaking oh. out there. Did you guys see that? You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the shit went down. Hey, you know what an MRE looks like? You know how to recon an enemy position. Yeah, it's not obvious, huh? You don't huh? cover in advance tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? We try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, it seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force ten years. Brought a sack. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days.
So are you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. Maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here. Uh, a few summers back, me and my old lady, my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> My name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was mm -hmm. a long time ago. Damn, that sucks. He had a pretty wife. Oh, flashback. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because <laughs> we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. Speak for yourself. After you. All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? Yeah, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, oh, what? It was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, let's start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. This is kind of sweet. So this is before he he went nomad again? I, I don't know. Because, like, their flashbacks are, like, different parts of their relationship, so it's not exactly in order. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. Alright. What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw fighter? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. <laughs> no, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Come on, Deacon, I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. So this is when they just started dating, I'm assuming. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and that's some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, 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 oh wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but <laughs> we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh my god. I bet. That's kind of sweet, he told them. Yeah, and you can, you can see how much Deacon really loved Sarah. So, you know way past me. Oh, I know. Come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get over it. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project. We've got these execs flying in from New York to our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec. And... Well, I'm wondering... If what Sorry, Sarah just... was working on had any no, connection to the apocalypse, anyway, thank you know? You away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, is this a popcorn? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so it's here. <laughs> this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that. Pot farm. Oh, yeah, that is weed. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation, put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. Oh my god. Look at that moonlight. It is... It's so beautiful. That's so bright. Keep going. 
Uh, we're almost there. Also, the sky's really pretty. See, where I live, I live in the city, so we don't get to see the stars like that. So every time I see it in real life, where there's no lights, it's very pretty. And it looks something like that. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? <laughs> God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. What, he's like freaked oh, out about her coming yeah, over? That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? <laughs> okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it. But just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something. Okay. See? That is so pretty. This is why I brought you out here. Oh my god. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <sighs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Oh my god! <sighs> Deacon? Will you... Oh my god! Die? Oh my god! <laughs> They're so cute! So that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as you're riding. Ironically, she don't says that. <laughs> okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Uh, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably oh. did. <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with this little thing. It's just like clenching <laughs> on the chain. Sarah's really cute. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Oh, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me with a real ring, though, right? <laughs> no, <but laughs> this one's my ring. Because I just you know, thought that's my ring. Right. It's your okay. ring. Mm -hmm. Something more simple, without fame. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're so cute! Oh my god. Oh, great. I'm sorry. It's the lab, I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. I gotta go. Uh, th this Aww. minute, like, th this time of night? I'm sorry, I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. Oh my god, that was so adorable. What the hell? <laughs> but again, that's what I'm thinking. Like, did her research have to do with something with the apocalypse? Because, like, she had very high clearance and all that stuff. And she was working on, like, plants and stuff. We don't know exactly what caused people to turn. I, it's not really known yet. So, it's a strong possibility Sarah must have known, like, what happened, you know? And there's always accidents happening at her lab. They're always calling her at the middle of the night, like, why are they doing that? You know? It's weird. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. I, I understand why he's not, like, saying Sarah's name yet, because he has to protect her if she's alive, you know, and you don't know, like, what this guy's capable- He may seem like a nice guy, but he may turn out to be a dick in the end, you know? You never know with these people. Same with, uh, like, Schizo. I thought he was gonna change into be, like, a really, really nice guy. Turns out he wasn't. Ooh, is this a superior mace? I should probably- yes. 
switch that. Thank you. I'll take that. Not unusual, you know. I'm sorry. What's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah. Why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. It's true. That's where we kept all our photos. When phones went away. The cloud went away. Our photos went with them. That's kind of messed yeah. up if you think I about it. I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school. Dark room, chemicals, all that. Too mm -hmm. stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated him. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. <laughs> I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked this as guy's a mechanic. getting suspicious I, of us, I, I think. I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. By bullying them? You sound okay. like Tucker. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, this is some <laughs> preacher man shit you keep saying. I was kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? <laughs> that the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. Why? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. This side shit shit's gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Uh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Ten hot! Whoa, is this the guy? At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officer. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you. We have all done things that we're not proud of. To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. I don't the like this. Gives this. But here. This woman's <laughs> oh no, is this guy like a religious militia? Oh, please tell me this is not it. Oh, hell no. Oh my god. When people mix religion it's and like, people oh, like it's not a good idea. Responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. Great, great. <laughs> he thinks like, Take her oh, to the work fuck. What the fuck you? Yeah. Fuck you, come oh. on, gorgeous. My Let's goddamn go. redneck assholes, get off of me! <laughs> I swear God, what about you? Uh, you Taylor, you uh, wait. And, um, yeah. no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail, never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the ship for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know, I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid, at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got. And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? Saint John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. 
Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq, Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. Oh no. Served one tour, served with honor, hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Oh my God, he likes us. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? This guy's gonna be a fucking problem later. Against all enemies, <laughs> natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. I don't like this. I'm just saying. Like, it's fine, like, people want to, like, bring religion in it, but, like, when they get, like, a little bit crazy about it, I don't like that. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the dog take a look at you. Also strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run-in with wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? Alex, fit to serve. Lara bien. You doing runs out in the ship? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, yeah, tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Basically, yes. can't do stuff for him. Island witch. What? Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. What the hell is he talking about? I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God? Oh, God, no. Never gave it much thought, sir. Oh, well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. Okay, great. Part is this. I feel uncomfortable. You know, I thought Copeland was weird. This is like, actually weirder, if I'm being completely honest. This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing oh did so you now? As those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake? Uh, Wizard Island? I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of God's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed, you'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story? I mean, uh, that it's it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes. Did he just? I'm sorry. Usually, people who are very religious, they know like their their Bible. They know like what story it's from, what chapter, what verse. Did this man screw it up and then Deacon corrected him? I don't trust this guy. No offense. Nope. I don't like this. I think this guy's a fake. Thinking he's a, okay, another, so like, coming of Christ away, or whatever. What do you say? Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but, uh, I think that, uh, oh, here. Try this on. Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? Not many of those left anymore, are there? Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. 
Normally we start new recruits in the rank of private, but since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Congratulations, son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. Ha 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 ha, I don't like this guy. Ha! I, am I the only one who feels very uncomfortable about this? Right. I'm scared. Well, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die, but our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. Okay. Oh, sir. But the island is more than just an ark, world. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. Rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition of every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. You can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. What are you gonna do? Plan, sir. Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. Um... The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you, an assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive in the shit always a gun. Are you up for that, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat them. Let me show you. Whoa! Now. Oh! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh. Hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Beat the enemy. Sorry. But, yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John. Hello. All this militia shit's just for show. Right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gel and the agent combining that phenic and palmitic acid. You're working on napalm? Yeah. Yeah. This dude knows his shit. Yeah, just a lucky guess. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that a little Sorry extreme? Oh, anytime. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close to him. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all the time. Why do they keep saying that Wizard Island Witch? What does that mean? <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition. Does this look like fabric stocking? No, oh, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? Sarah? Active ingredients. Core, core, core of form. And, uh, A, terp, turpin, turpin. Get out. Get out! Sarah! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. 
He's got some experience out on the ship. Read this. Hmm? What? Does she not recognize him? Read this. I mean, you can't read, can you? Active ingredients, chloroform, a terpenol, benzoyl alcohol, and a lot of That's good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Does she not Carry on, remember him or something? What's going on? Leave us. Sarah. Stand at attention. You're dead. You're supposed to be hey, dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Oh my god! Oh my god! We found wait, her! Wait a, wait a second. I I don't understand. I couldn't I, uh, find you. You had died and I. Uh, no. We were overrun. Who's your and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain. dead. And I, didn't think that I never thought I would I see you again. See you. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. They're forcing you to stay here. You don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, man. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. I, I knew this was gonna happen. I said this earlier that when what if we do find Sarah, she's not gonna be the same. Oh my god. So she's the the witch of the island, I'm assuming that's what everyone's talking about. Wow. This is kind of sad, though. Corporal St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. Mrs. Weaver, what can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Because he doesn't give a crap about that. All right, um... Okay, first of all, I need to fix this up. Oh my god, it, like, I, I understand that Sarah, Sarah's probably all messed up because of what happened, right? That's totally understandable, but it's just like... I guess she feels like she needs to do something because she, she has... Remember the whole time in the flashbacks, Deacon was making fun of her. You have PhDs, make use of it and whatever. I guess, like, that kind of got to her, and she's like, I have to do something and help people. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna buy this so I get more ammo for ranged weapons. 
Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood, fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. So I guess he doesn't suspect that we know Sarah, right? <laughs> St. John! Court Corral St. John! <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, is this thing gonna work? Oh god, this guy's kind of annoying, not gonna lie. Yeah, your radio works, what's up? Deacon St. John! Hey! Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit, right? <laughs> you, know, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what the what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, so, sorry, what are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out for the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on. Wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Uh huh. Uh, freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right. Damn, why is there a lot of freaking... Oh my it's, god. Uh, this place is covered in freakers. Oh shit. Oh my god. What radio are you on? Are you sh not being monitored? Oh shit. Huh. That's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. What an idiot. Ben Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed oil testing kit. You're gonna need one. <sighs> All right. Oil testing kit. Copy that. The center bar is kind of red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. It's gonna be hard to miss. Test the oil. It's gotta be at least sixty percent pure, or I can't use it. All right, got it. <laughs> is this it? Here we go. Or testing kit. Yeah. All right. I have a bad feeling about this. Just saying. Ah, oh, crap. Last time I was in here, I almost died because of schizo. Oh my god. All right. Okay, okay, what did he say? Red Rock, no luster. Just in a bar. Yeah. All right, let's see how pure this is. All right. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There you go. Okay. Um. Who the hell's in here? Where's the next guy? I know you're in there. Uh, 
come to me. Jesus. Spears, damn it. Yeah, that's it. Water's going down. I gotta finish collecting this war. Let me guess, there's more over here. Hello? You wanna come out now and just attack me? Oh, they're there. Hang on. Out of the way. Oh, they're in the corner over here. Hang on. Come on! Elevator shaft. Oh god damn it. Wonder where this goes. Great. Way to find out. I'm scared. <laughs> What's up here? Another tunnel. Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. Huh. We haven't been up here before. Fuck. Lieutenant Weaver, this is St. John. Ooh. I've got the Cinnabar you asked for. St. John, good, good. I'm almost ready for it. Oh, oh, hold on a second. Can I help you, Lieutenant? Weaver, I ran out of ice and put a Do you have any? Sarah. Yeah, I got a bottle of vodka back in my tent. Stop by later. Jesus, you never give up, do you? Don't be such a stranger. Fuck off. St. John. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. Anyway, yeah, just drop off the horse as soon as you can. I got some more shit I need you to get. Weaver out. Sarah's completely different now. Lieutenant. <laughs> oh man, leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. Uh, yeah. This is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. How did, how did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? <sighs> man, I thought you were going to leave all that shit by the door. I'll be awkward. Awkward! Yeah, so they do call her that. I mean, I see why. She's angry all the time, but... That's very awkward. Okay, guys, I'm gonna end this episode of Days Gone here. I don't know why, I feel really sad. Like, I'm so happy that you found Sarah, but it's not Sarah, if you know what I mean. And I was saying this a long time ago. If we do find her, she'll probably be a different person because, like, a lot of traumatic stuff happen and people change. And it seems like Deacon didn't really change. He was just lost because of Sarah. That's really sad. Oh my god. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button for the next episode. Oh man, I feel really sad. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!